Fallout 2! We're about to end the game. The end of the game. Where am I? Saves. 14 hit points. Oh, this stupid puzzle room. Urgh. Let me inside of a Rubik's Cube or something. <sighs> okay. I can rest at this location. <laughs> rest until healed. Why not? It's not like the rig is going to go anywhere. <laughs> oh man. Those troopers are like, don't notice there's like, their buddies are missing for like, how many days? <laughs> oh, Fallout 2, you never cease to amuse me. <laughs> Keep tickering those tickers. There we go. We're like in Star Trek. Time now. <laughs> hit, hit, hit points continuing to go up. Ah, 344 hit points. That's like, I don't know how much damage you could do with that. Urgh. Okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rest until healed. I'm just gonna stand here for like three weeks and you're gonna not notice me. <laughs> oh, sometimes Fallout 2 is broken in strange and beautiful ways. There we go. Almost to the top. There we go! We're all rested up! Took the whole freaking month of November. And nobody noticed! The electrified floor discharged like a bazillion times, man! Okay. I need to <laughs> calm down a little bit. I'll serve. Save 344. Hit points as we boldly go to the presidential level, I think. Oh, the door is not opened. What? Open the door, man. I didn't go all this way to have a door not open for me. Hello. You guys aren't even hostile. Ha <laughs> ha! You live through the puzzle room, you gain 2,500 experience points. Oh, Fallout 2, you're amazing and beautiful. Ha 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 ha! We're just gonna. How's this turret doing? What does he look like? Heavy dual minigun with 800,000 rounds of 22-3 mil full metal jackets! What's the save key? Is it this one? No, that's the load key. This is the save key. On your rig. Okay. What's the Vault Citizens looking people? Might as well rest a bit. Okay, sure, why not? Um, you see sturdy blast doors. They seem to meld into the floor and ceiling. You see no way in which to open the door. Oh, I'm still addicted. What is my... Okay, my addiction is like not 
penalizing me too much. That's good. Do what else is there to do in the presidential oil rig? You see a stair stepper. You see nothing out of the ordinary. I see a punching bag. Uh, no, fiddle with that, I guess. Ha 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 ha. Some dudes in here. Yeah, I know. I'm just kind of wasting filler time for it to pay, pay a visit to the president. Who's this guy? Who's smoking gum in... Who's smacking gum into the headset? Where would you find gum at a time like this? There's the president. He's in his presidential red room and such. It's like the he has a big table that has all of his advisors would sit at if he had any advisors. And his face is on this TV. So <laughs> kinda like um Ah uh, no I'm not gonna make any jokes there. What did it do? What's this? Uh, nothing happening here. Ah, uh, I thought this was the war room. You can't fight in here. Fast as fast can be. They can't. They won't catch me. Oh, we can. We can dig around with uh, the vice president. Hello, Trooper! What are you doing in the Vice President's office? I'm just here to double-check on our secret plans. I see! Well, as you may know, I've long thought that it's time for the human race to enter the solar system. Aren't we already in the... <laughs> I think that maybe Mars would be nice because Mars is essentially in the same orbit Mars is somewhat the same distance from the sun, which is very important. We have seen pictures where there are canals. <laughs> we believe and water, if there is water, that means there is oxygen. If there, if oxygen, that means we can breathe. Uh, I didn't expect such a complete answer. Of course you do, of course. Any loyal citizen of these great United States would do the same. Why is that? We have to work together because if we don't succeed, we run the risk of failure. Maybe your failure wouldn't be such a bad thing. I mean that we don't want to go back to tomorrow. We want to go forward. Isn't that the only way to go? Yes, I like that direction. I have made good judgments in the past. I have made good judgments in the future. So by all means, let's go in that direction. Yes. Oh. I believe we are... <laughs> we are on an irreversible trend toward more freedom and democracy, but that could change. And it's not really reversible, is it? <laughs> Polluted environments of the waste could use a little freedom for a change. Don't be silly. It isn't pollution that's harming the environment. It's the impurities in our <laughs> it's the impurities in our air and water that are doing it. <laughs> you wouldn't be so flippant about it if you were on the mainland. Well, that's just the thing. The Enclave is a man-made island surrounded by water. Did you, forget, <laughs> did you forget to add something to that statement, like a point? You're stuck on the same planet with the rest of us. Oh, we're going to the solar system. How would we do that? For NASA, space is still a high priority. Uh, I think it's the only priority. 
I think that maybe Mars... Ah, uh, you've lost your mind. What a waste it is to lose one's mind, or to not have a mind is being very wasteful. How true that is. I'd say it's usually a waste, but in your case, I'm willing to make an exception. I am not part of the problem. I'm a Republican. <laughs> ah, like I said, part of the problem. That's not true. Re Republicans understand the importance of bondage between a mother and child. That's the key to the solution of all our problems. We need to return to family values. <laughs> Which you and the Enclave are up to has nothing with family values. I stand by all the misstatements that I've made. Don't you understand you'll create another holocaust? Holocaust? <laughs> holocaust if you'll continue. The holocaust was an obscene period in our nation's history. I mean in this century's history. But we all lived in this century. I didn't live in this century. Ha 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 You're a flipping loony. Okay. Uh, how do you spell potato with an E or without? Okay. <laughs> oh, I've got work to do. The future will be better tomorrow. What do you mean by that? <laughs> he just keeps recycling his things over and over. Uh, I really have to be going. <laughs> Where did my two gallons of strawberry ice cream go? I believe that all the presidential, the vice presidential quotations, oh mommy, I didn't do it, don't hit me again, uh, were taken from actual Dan Quayle quotes, which is like making it very satirical at the time, shiny. Of course, I always liked uh, President Dugan in uh, Red Alert 2. He's like, you wouldn't want the Vice President running things, would you? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Also, check out my other recent videos.